Zenas statuses are the backbone of an optimized Zenas. In my decade of experience of working as a Zenas consultant, I've noticed many people don't know how to use them. It's affecting team efficiency, it's affecting reports, it's affecting customer satisfaction, and it's affecting the bottom line. In this video, I am going to show you exactly how they work so you can too have a well-oiled, smooth running Zendesk. There is one ticket status that I don't like and I'm going to share why and how to fix it. <laughs> Welcome to Zendesk Tuesday, my name is Dominic, customer experience enthusiast, Zendesk consultant, decade of experience, premier partner with Zendesk, 330 projects completed. What we're going to cover during this video is going to be what the statuses are, how they work, the impact that these have, what's new in Zendesk with custom statuses, and best practices from a customer experience perspective. I'm going to show the schematic of a ticket lifecycle in Zendesk. There is also a bonus status, which you'll find out during this video. Okay, let's take them one by one. First one is the new ticket status. This is a ticket that has come into Zendesk. It is fresh and it has no assignee and it has no actions performed on it. Now from this moment on, the SLAs are actually starting to run. So a service level agreement is already running and the clock is ticking for the first action to be performed by a human. Next on the list is open status. When the ticket is in open status, it means that an action is waiting to be performed by us, by the customer service team. In other words, the customer is waiting for an action from us. The impact of an open status is the clock is still ticking for your SLAs. So your service level agreements are running and are waiting for a reply. Next on the list is the pending status. A ticket is in pending status when we are waiting for more information from the customer. Customer needs to let us know their order number, their ID, their address, their, I don't know, whatever we need for an invoice but we need more information from them in order to help them solve this request. The impact of the pending status is that the SLAs are stopped. So clocks are no longer running. Everybody have some fun. <laughs> On hold status, a ticket is on hold when we as a customer service department or team are waiting for a third party to get back to us. It is meant to be used in Zenesk when we are escalating a ticket. We are escalating to either a colleague or a manager or a third party, delivery company, developer, programmer, etc. Now the impact of the on hold status is that the SLA, so the service level agreement is tick tock, tick tock running. So this will be negatively affecting our reports if we forget it. Solve status means that a ticket has been solved, completed. In the solved status, we can send a customer satisfaction request. Were you happy with this or not? The impact that this can have is that your SLAs are paused and it's done. Closed ticket status. Closed ticket status means that the ticket is being solved and the customer has not requested anything else. The impact is that if the customer realizes that they actually didn't get their request solved and the ticket is in closed status, if they reply in the same thread, then a new ticket will be created with a status new. It will also have a reference to where it was actually created from. So you can see the uh, closed ticket too in that same new ticket. Now, there is a bonus status which is called the archive status. Archive status means that a ticket has been in closed status for about 120 days in Zenas, so then it gets archived. The impact is greatly in your favor because tickets older than 120 days won't necessarily be shown into views, which can impact the loading of the websites. So Zenas will have a hard time loading if you're having to surface millions and millions of tickets. So when you have them enclosed and archived, they get out of sight, out of mind, and you can focus on freshly newer creating tickets. Wait, 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 wait. So before we continue, please like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Uh, we'd be really grateful and it would really help for this to reach more people. Thank you so much. Onwards with the video. So what's new in Zenesk is the custom statuses. And I'm going to share my screen. I'm going to show you how these look like. I'm going to go to admin center. I'm going to go to objects and rules and I'm going to go to ticket statuses. Let's just create a custom status. Now the category is open, pending, on hold and solve. What does this mean? 
I can create some statuses which are related to my business and cater to exactly what I need to do in order to solve a ticket, but they all fall under the category of open, pending, on hold, or solve. So the impact that this is going to have on you is the fact that your SLAs will still be running or be put on hold depending on what you choose in here. So if I choose open category and I take a ticket which is let's call escalated to uh, delivery, show to end users different view, yes, I'm going to share the same name, no description, set as active and done, save. Okay, now I'm going to go back to my support. I'm going to refresh like a good admin. I'm going to go to a ticket and I'm going to go to the statuses and here it is, escalated to delivery. Okay, now I'm going to create a new ticket. I'm going to put to escalate to delivery. Please provide a ticket description, of course. Ticket description and I'm going to set it to escalated to delivery. And here's my ticket escalated to delivery. Okay, now let's move on to talk about best practices. Number one tip for best practices is to use the on hold status. The on hold status is not by default enabled in your Zendesk and you have to go in and activate it. I'm going to show you how to enable it. So let's go. So I'm going to go to admin center. I'm going to go to objects and rules, ticket statuses. I am going to kill this filter here and I have my on hold here. Step is waiting for a third party. Activate, activate on hold status category, save. And here it is. Remember I told you about a ticket category that I didn't like that is screwing your report sometimes. Well, it's the on hold status. And the next tip, I will show you how to fix that. Put a tag to avoid affecting your SLA. Usually what happens is that you escalate to somebody and you put your ticket on hold and you wait for that person, either a delivery company or a developer or somebody working in finance and it takes them a few days. Now, the on hold status, if you remember, I told you it still runs the SLA. So the SLA clock is still ticking. So. What you end up with, if you wait, for example, for two weeks for somebody to get back to you, or you wait, for example, for a developer to fix something and it takes them three weeks, maybe two months, then you have a ticket being on hold for that long. And imagine your SLA, it's going to be destroyed. So your metrics and your reports are going to be deeply affected. So what you do is you put a tag on a ticket, which is called no SLA, let's say. You call it whatever you want and you go into the SLA and you say all tickets except tickets containing the tag no SLA and you're done. You're essentially pushing away these tickets to not affect your reporting. Another tip is be careful how you use custom statuses. They all fall under some categories which affect your SLAs. So be very careful and mindful how you use them because these can also very easily skew your reports. I'm not telling you to avoid tracking these. No, 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 no. I'm just telling you to be very careful how you use these and keep in mind they all affect your service level agreements. Okay, this has been the video for this week. Please like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. I would be really grateful. See you. Bye.